we expect to win a championship, right? That's what we said the first day that we showed up in front of you guys, and that hasn't changed at all. And I think that everything that we do is focused on that. And I think it's not a matter of, you know, setting a goal for another few games to win or a playoff series. Those are all milestones of what is really the ultimate journey, which is we want to have a championship team. And I feel like, you know, we have a very good chance of, of continuing to build towards that. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Wes. I think if you think about it, when we bought the team, um, in the last, so this is our fourth season, um, we've made the playoffs two out of the three. And what's become clear is we now have sort of a top 10 player. And that, you know, the, the goal or the dream of, ma of winning a championship, I think today is far more real than it was sort of, you know, when we first bought the team. That was our hope. That's still our hope. But today you can see that there's a great foundation there. And, you know, how long is it going to take for us to get there? And we think we're going to get there um, if everybody keeps on developing. Um, I don't think anybody thought four years ago Giannis was going to be a top ten player. You were hoping he was going to be a really good top, player. Top five. Top five. Top five. So, I mean, so we're, we're progressing pretty well. And if we can have a season where no one is hurt, that's really what we'd love to see is that just have a season where no one is hurt. Um, and see how everybody's able to play together because we have the talent. Um, you know, last year Chris was out for quite a bit of time. Then when Chris came back that same day, Jabari got hurt. So if we can have everybody there for a whole year, I think we've got a huge amount of potential. Uh, we talked about a lot, you know, the continuity card is what we're playing really right now. And exactly as Mark said, we've got a very talented young core. We've got a great coaching staff, great training staff. That's, you know, you know very few changes. We had lots of opportunities this summer to have made big changes, right? Because when you have as many talented young players as we do, everybody calls you with wonderful ideas about who you should trade them for somebody else. And at the end of the day, you know, we listen to a lot of different things. We're very, very happy with, you know, kind of where we ended up. I think this year when we decided, look, let's stay with the continuity and with our core, part of that is our belief that we've got a phenomenal team if everybody isn't hurt. When we look at this, it is everything from the facilities that we're in to our coaching staff, our training staff, of course, the players, um, everything else that kind of goes into the, the business and development side. Um, you know, we feel very good about the development of, of the franchise generally. I think as, as Mark was, say, was saying, if you look back, you know, three and a half years ago, when we sat up here and we bought the team, um, immodestly, I think that things are a lot different today than they were then in just about every, every regard. And uh, we haven't won a championship yet. We've had some success on the court. Um, we really do feel like that we're at a, at a tipping point of the organization. If everybody stays healthy, that we can really make a material step forward in our competitiveness, you know, both as a team as an organization. But everything we're doing is trying to build a culture of winning and excellence. And if we build an excellent culture that transforms to all the organization, it's going to show up on the court too. And the new arena just another evolution of that. I think we got almost 2,500 new, uh, you know, season ticket. Uh, subscriptions the highest in the NBA you know this off season and you know by investing in this product our view is uh, you invest first and the revenues will come and we're, and we're already seeing it well you know we want to be very patient about building there is a here and now element to it right for sure and so that that is you know the question that Mark was answering in terms of trying to balance it um, because while we do have a young team second youngest team in the league like I told Jed if we, we hadn't brought him back we'd probably be the youngest it's all it's all his fault but um, but the second youngest team in the league, but we want, we know that there's a window that you've got to compete. You know, Giannis just starts his new contract. We've got Chris for a couple of years. Key parts of the team are in place, but it's not going to be forever. So you can't have the 10-year plan. It's a, it's a much shorter thing. The, the goal and the idea was, and I, I actually think Wes took the lead on this, was if we want to be a championship caliber team and we want to be a best in class, then start building those facilities, and then hopefully everything else will come into place. There's a cost to that, right? and there, there obviously is, and we've decided we're gonna invest for the future. I think that's the, that's the critical word, though. There's a difference between spending money and investing, and we feel like the, what you're sitting right now, this is not an expense, this is an investment. And you know, it's an investment at every level. It, it personifies what the organization is all about. Our players have the best in class treatment. The people who work here work in the best environment. That's the culture that you know, Mike was talking about. That's really what makes, the, what, what makes things work. And you